Have you ever wondered what would happen if you spent 10 seconds on Venus, our neighboring planet? Today, we're taking a closer look at Venus, the second planet from the Sun. Often referred to as Earth's evil twin, Venus is a world of extremes and contrasts that challenges our understanding of terrestrial planets. It's roughly the same size as Earth, yet it spins slowly in the opposite direction. Its proximity to the Sun is about 70% of Earth's, making it our closest planetary neighbor, yet the surface temperatures are hot enough to melt lead. Its rotation period is incredibly long with a Venusian day lasting longer than a Venusian year. Imagine that, a day that outlasts its year. All these characteristics make Venus a fascinating and daunting place, a world that's familiar in some ways, yet utterly alien in others. Now let's dive into what might happen if you were to spend just 10 seconds on Venus. The moment you set foot on Venus, the first thing you'd notice is the extreme atmospheric pressure. Now let's put that into perspective. Imagine diving deep into the ocean about 900 meters down, that's more than half a mile below the surface. At this depth, the pressure from the water above you is immense. This is what it would feel like to stand on Venus, except the pressure isn't coming from water, but from the planet's thick atmosphere. In fact, the atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times greater than what we experience here on Earth. It's as if you had 50 American school buses piled on top of you. That's a lot of weight, isn't it? This extreme pressure would have a catastrophic effect on the human body. Your lungs, for instance, are designed to operate under Earth's pressure. On Venus, they'd be crushed immediately, making it impossible for you to breathe. But that's not all. The pressure would also affect your bones. They could potentially snap under the weight leading to serious injuries if not instant death. In other words, Venus is not a place you'd want to visit without proper protection. It's an incredibly hostile environment that our bodies are simply not equipped to handle. So, within the first few seconds, you'd be feeling the weight of Venus's atmosphere quite literally crushing you. But the atmospheric pressure isn't the only thing you'd have to worry about on Venus. Now let's talk about the scorching temperatures. Venus is not your typical tropical getaway, Imagine a world where the average temperature soars to a blistering 467 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to melt lead. This isn't your average summer day. This is a constant and unrelenting heat. A heat so intense, it would make a Sahara Desert summer seem like a winter holiday. The human body is simply not built for such extreme temperatures. As soon as you'd step foot onto Venus, the heat would be unbearable. Your body would react instantly, attempting to cool down through sweating. But in such extreme heat, this natural cooling mechanism would fail. Your body temperature would rise rapidly, leading to severe burns and heat stroke. The proteins that hold your body together would start to denature. Your cells would break down, and your body would start to cook from the inside out. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? This is a heat so extreme that it would not only scorch your skin but also your internal organs. It's a heat that can melt lead, remember? So, when we talk about visiting Venus, we're not talking about a leisurely stroll, we're talking about a death march. So, in addition to being crushed, you'd also be getting cooked alive. As if the pressure and heat weren't enough, Venus's atmosphere would also pose a serious threat. Now let's shift our focus from the crushing pressure and scorching heat to the toxic air that envelops this fiery planet. Venus's atmosphere is primarily composed of carbon dioxide, a gas that while essential to life on Earth in small quantities, is deadly to humans in high concentrations. In the dense, carbon dioxide-heavy air of Venus, you'd quickly suffocate. This isn't the type of gas you'd want to take a deep breath of. To add an extra layer of danger, the clouds that shroud Venus aren't fluffy white water vapor clouds like we have on Earth. Oh no, they're composed of sulfuric acid. And if you're wondering whether sulfuric acid is as bad as it sounds, let me assure you it is. This corrosive compound is capable of causing severe burns on human skin and can even dissolve certain materials. In the unlikely event that you'd somehow survive the pressure and heat of Venus, the sulfuric acid in the atmosphere would swiftly do you in. So picture this. Within a mere 10 seconds on Venus, you'd experience a trifecta of deadly conditions. You'd be crushed by the intense atmospheric pressure, cooked by the extreme heat, and choked by the carbon dioxide-heavy sulfuric acid-laden air. So, within 10 seconds, you'd be crushed, cooked, and choked by Venus's unforgiving environment. It's safe to say that Venus is not a vacation spot you'd want to book anytime soon. So, what would happen if you spent 10 seconds on Venus? Well, let's unravel the layers of Venus's lethal allure. Imagine being crushed under a pressure 50 times greater than Earth's at sea level. 
that's the equivalent of being one kilometer under the ocean without a protective suit. The intense pressure alone would cause immediate harm to your body, compressing your lungs and making it impossible to breathe. But that's not all. The temperature on Venus is a staggering 467 degrees Celsius, hotter than the surface of most ovens. In just 10 seconds this extreme heat could cause severe burns and potentially ignite your clothes. And let's not forget the air, or rather, the lack of it. Venus's atmosphere is mostly carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid. Inhaling this toxic mix would cause severe respiratory distress, and the acid could cause chemical burns to any exposed skin or eyes. So, in a mere 10 seconds you'd experience crushing pressure, scorching heat, and a toxic atmosphere. It's a trifecta of deadly conditions that make Venus the most hostile planet in our solar system to human life. The next time you look up at the night sky and see Venus shining brightly, remember just how deadly our neighboring planet really is. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. That's all for Nifty Narrations.